In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A52 screen to your TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Now I'm going to demonstrate a few different methods um, because a lot of people have different devices. So I'm going to try to show multiple methods depending on what devices you have. So hopefully I can touch most of the people that are out there. Um, I'm going to show uh, two different forms of mirroring. So the first method is going to be if you're trying to demonstrate or show exactly what's happening on your screen exactly as you're doing it, a direct mirror, I'm going to show that first. And secondly, I'm going to show you how to just send a video from your phone to the TV. So if you're trying to watch a Netflix video or Hulu or YouTube, you can use that second method to just send the video to the TV and still use your phone to do other things. This video is sponsored in part by GrooveMade.com. I recently gave my office a modern makeover with the help of GrooveMade.com. Their sleek and stylish products have given my office a new fun vibe and you can find inspiration and a great selection of products to give your office a new groove and new vibe today. Check out the link to their site in the description of the video. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna show it first, and then after I'm gonna explain how to do it. So let's do that. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is, let's slide our phone over to the left here so you can see the screen. So in the first method, I'm going to mirror the phone to a Roku. So what you'll need to do is make sure your phone and your Roku are both on the same Wi-Fi network. And then you'll just simply swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, swipe to your left, and you'll have an option here called Smart View. We're going to tap on Smart View. And I'll see the Roku pop up on the list. My Roku is named uh, Office. So I'm gonna tap on Office, Start Now. And then what you should see is a prompt show up on the TV asking if it can accept um, the screen mirroring. And there it is right there. Just take your Roku remote and go over to Always Allow and press OK. And then now, um, after a few seconds, you'll see the screen is gonna be mirrored to the TV. So now everything you do on your screen is gonna show up on the TV. Now this is asking about changing the aspect ratio. Just hit change. And it will kind of shrink the screen down just a bit. If you don't like this, you can always change it by tapping on the smart view icon and tapping on phone aspect ratio and going back to full screen like this. But now everything I do on the screen is gonna show up on the TV. I can open up any app. I can rotate the phone sideways as well. Obviously, uh, there it is. So anything you do on the phone will show up on the TV the same way. This is great for showing gameplay or uh, doing demonstrations, teaching someone how to use an app or a feature on the phone. Or if you have uh, videos on the phone from a trip, all those are great options. So this is the first method of how to mirror your screen. When you're finished and you want to stop it from mirroring, you will need to tap on the little smart view icon here and then tap disconnect. Now, if you have a Samsung smart TV as well, you will need to have that Samsung smart TV also connected to Wi-Fi and you can use this same method to mirror. So this method will work for Roku and for uh, Samsung smart TVs and some other smart TVs, it just depends. Now on the list, when I originally set it up, it did show LG, so uh, that leads me to believe that this will work for multiple smart TVs. So that's the first method. Now the second method is for those of you that have a Google Chromecast. Now, for that, you will need to download the Google Home app. So you would just go to the Play Store, do a search, just type in Home, and look for the Google Home app and download this app on your phone. And uh, with this app, it will allow you to also mirror exactly what is on your screen 
to the TV. So on the phone, we're just gonna walk through the setup really quickly, get started, press OK, hit next. Um, I don't allow it to access location, that's just me. Now at the bottom of the screen here, you will see, um, you'll have to swipe down. So this is the main screen here, and I'm just going to swipe up. Now I've named my Roku uh, Attic TV. So right here, I just swipe down to other cast devices, Attic TV, I'm gonna tap on that. And then at the bottom of the screen, I'll have an option that says cast to my screen. Tap there, tap cast screen, and start recording, or start uh, casting. And now, same thing, everything I do on the phone will show up on the TV. So you've got two different options here for trying to mirror your screen based on the type of device that you have. Now, if you want to stop this option from casting, swipe down from the top of the screen. You'll have an option that says casting screen and you can um, just tap on it. Actually do this, swipe down. There's a little arrow on the right side of the screen. Tap on this little arrow and then tap disconnect that will stop your phone from mirroring the screen to the TV. Now, in, um, those are the two different ways to mirror your screen and everything on your screen to the TV. Now, in the second method, I'm gonna show you how to just mirror uh, a video or just send a video from your phone to the TV. For this method, we're gonna go to YouTube and we're just gonna open uh, a YouTube video and Let's do this video here. Let's tap on it. We've got a commercial here that should be over in a few seconds. Okay, so we'll pause it here. So what you'll need to do if you just wanted to send this one video to the TV, you're gonna go to the top of the video and tap on this little icon. This is your cast icon. And then you'll see here your different devices. So. Attic TV is my Chromecast, Office is my Roku, and then Link with TV is the third option. Now, if you have an Apple TV and uh, you're trying to send a video to your Apple TV, you would use the Link with TV code. And then on your Apple TV, you'd need to go and download the YouTube app and then um, go to the option that says Link with TV code, and then that will allow you to send it to an Apple TV. In this case, I'm gonna send it to my Chromecast, just tapping on Attic TV. Give it a few seconds and you'll see the screen is going to begin to change and then the video will automatically start playing on the TV. Now the cool thing about this option as I shared earlier is it will allow that video to play on the TV while you go home and are now able to do other things on your phone. So you can send text messages, you can make phone calls, you can open any other app you want while that video plays on the TV. So that's the best part about this second option. And I assume most of you are watching this video because you wanna play a video from one of your video streaming applications. And so hopefully all these different methods are good options for you and you find the one that works best for you. When you're all done, swipe now from the top of the screen. You can control the video from this section here. You can pause it. You can swipe down with two fingers and you can fast forward the video to a different point or you can tap on the X here to stop the video from playing. And that's it. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I try to be thorough and show uh, many different options so we can kind of touch everyone who had the same question. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if the video was helpful. Like, favorite, and share if it was helpful as well. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.